What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks MLB Player Props video. This one going to be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks to get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, if you haven't checked out Prize Picks, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website and app where you can win money off of picking the over and under on things like player strikeouts, first inning runs allowed, pitcher fantasy score, pitches thrown, etc. Go ahead and use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to one hundred dollars on your first deposit today. Again, on this code. KJKDFS, going to lock that in, get that free money offer. Start winning some money over here on Prize Picks with these picks today, guys. Yesterday we went three and one. Uh, unfortunately, Goldschmidt did not crack the lineup, but we had the Xander, Hitter Fantasy Score, Nolan Arenado, Otani, and JD Martinez, all of which hit outside of JD Martinez. Let us down, so we went three and one, but hey. We're, we're back on a uh, winning streak here, and that's the goal on this channel, man. We want to get on the longest winning streaks possible, you know, rack up those Ws, limit those Ls, and uh, we did so last night. So 3-1, and if you would have flexed it, you would have profited. If you would have mixed the match, you would have profited. Uh, pretty good day overall. So if you enjoyed this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. And if you haven't checked out the premium content packages, I do offer those. Link below in the description if you want access to all of my tools, all of my core plays, my Discord chat to ask me questions to get direct access, as well as everyone else in the community that I'm helping out on a daily that can help you out. Check that out. And without further ado, let's talk about it. I got five picks. Great slate overall. Lots to pick from. We're going to be rocking with some pitching today, so excited to break it down. We'll go game by game, as we always do. Uh, we'll just refresh this real quick, make sure we have the latest odds. And the first game that I'm going to talk about is going to be the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Texas Rangers. And I'm going to discuss Mr. Zach Wheeler because he is fantastic. He's a 134 favorite in this spot, and I definitely want to be targeting him. We target him every time he takes the bump, and for good reason. He's just that good looking at his numbers across the board as far as what he features. He has a 3.14 Sierra, a 28.8% K overall with a 12.3% swinging strike rate. Elite ground ball, fly ball stuff, as well as hard contact stuff. Has a 28.8% K rate against righties and a 28.8% K rate against lefties. Only gives up a 333 slugging to those righties, only a 318 slugging to lefties, and does, once again, a great job of keeping the ball on the ground. Limiting hard contact. He's an all-around, just phenomenal pitcher. Workhorse. You look at his recent form as far as how deep he's going into the ball games, the pitch count, and all that stuff as well that we like to check out. Uh, no issues there either. Last time out, he only threw 86 pitches because he just went seven innings so efficiently, and they were up 10-1 that they decided to pull him. So don't take that into account. He usually is up there right around 98, 99, 101 pitches respectively. He'll rack up the Ks uh, from time to time as well. 8, 9, 7, 10 the last few times out. But he's going to go deep no matter what. Pitch efficiently. Not give up too much. 2, 1, 2, 0, 1 earned runs. 6, 7, 6, 6, 6, 6 6.2 uh, innings pitched. Everything you're looking for when you're targeting pitcher fantasy score. And that's exactly what we're going to be targeting today with Zach Wheeler. I like the over 39.5 pitcher fantasy score for him. Once again, you really can't ask for much more out of Zach Wheeler. I mean, just phenomenal stuff across the board. Uh, does it all. He'll live with the hard contact. He'll go deep into the ball game. Uh, everything that you could possibly ask for out of a pitcher, Zach Wheeler supplies. So he's going to be pick number one in the video. 134 favorite like that. Pick number two. We're going to be going to Pablo Lopez, taking on the Colorado Rockies. The Colorado Rockies are on the road in Miami, which is one of the best pitching environments, if not the best pitching environment. I would argue it's the best pitching environment in baseball. Miami Marlins Park just really limits the hard contact. Uh, ball does not fly here. Everything you could possibly ask for from a pitching environment aspect. And we get to target Pablo Lopez against a Rockies team that does not perform as well on the road outside of the course field confines. Always a team that I'm wanting to target on the road uh, for sure. Oh, and the other thing about Zach Wheeler is the, the Rangers do have quite a few strikeouts. That's one thing I always want to touch on. Uh, and I forgot to touch on that. So real quick, we'll just go kind of from the bottom up as far as the expected Texas Rangers lineup and K rate. Uh, Tavares, 29.9%. Smith, 8%, 25, 20, 29, 25, 27, 16, and 18, respectively. So uh, plenty of strikeouts to be had in that lineup. And uh, same can be said for Pablo Lopez. I mean, you look at his underlying metrics as far as how he's fared so far. He's a 3.46 tier, a 26.6% carry overall with a 12.8% swinging strike rate, 32.8% carry to righties, and a 20.8% carry against lefties, but really good in the ground ball, fly ball, hard contact categories across the board. K rate does dip a lot against those left-handed hitters, unfortunately, but... That's really the only negative you could find in his stuff. 206 favorite, massive favorite here. He's expected to get the win, and he's got a very friendly uh, pitcher fantasy score line over here on prize picks as far as I'm concerned. This is a great deal. 34 and a half pitcher fantasy score for him. Definitely want to be targeting the over here. I mean, that's just a great play as far as I'm concerned with the talent that he has. 
and I expect him to go deep in the ball game. Last few times out, he hasn't had the greatest of starts. Uh, but this is a perfect get-right spot. Rockies on the road in Miami. Great pitching environment. He's only gone 4.1 and 5.1 after going 7, 6, and 7. Three straight, racking up 6, 5, and 8 strikeouts. So um, I think Pablo Lopez really has a good game here. Traditionally, really solid across the board. The Rockies only have a 3.06 implied run total. He's a 206 favorite. Everything you're looking for, and it's a discount because of his recent format, 34 and a half. Like, if he was pitching well, this is probably up there right around the same line as Zach Wheeler, 38 and a half. 39 and a half. So um, I know the recent form, he's had a, a couple of tough outings, but expect him to have a, a really good one here. And then you look at the Colorado Rockies lineup up and down as far as their K rate's concerned. Um, starting from the bottom up, Diaz, 16%, 24, 13, 25, 21, 23, and 15, 16, 20. So not the most strikeouts in the world but compared to some li other lineups we may be targeting throughout the season, but enough to give him a few strikeouts, enough to definitely pass this uh, 34 and a half pitch of fantasy score. So pick number two. We're going to be rocking with the over 34.5 pitcher fantasy score for Pablo Lopez. Pick number three, we're going to be going down to Mr. Tyler Anderson taking on the Cincinnati Reds. The Reds coming in with a 4.14 implied total. Anderson's a 172 favorite here. He's been phenomenal all season for the Dodgers. Uh, you look at what he's doing across the board. Really, really good stuff. He won 123 pitches last time out on one earned run. One hit allowed 8.1 innings pitched. Eight strikeouts uh, against an Angel squad. So coming off that performance, I mean, he hasn't been going the longest in games from a pitch count aspect, but they've been letting him go six innings no matter what before they turn it over to the bullpen. So whether it's an efficient six innings, whether it takes him up to 100 uh, pitchers or so, um, it's still a really, really good spot for him. And the Cincinnati Reds are a lineup that's been struggling all year long. Uh, they're definitely a lineup that we've been targeting. They strike out a ton. They do not scare us too much. The fact that Anderson's a 172 favorite goes a long way in making me like him as well. You look at the K rates for them, 21, 20, 19, 16, 14, 29, 22, 26, and 17. Um, the Reds have gotten Jonathan India back. They're starting to look a lot better. They do have a pretty good lineup against left-handed pitching compared to the, against righties. But still, all of that being said, I still expect Tyler Anderson to go out there and take care of business. His underlying metrics over the last couple of seasons aren't the most impressive, but he's really turned it on this season. Hard contact stuff's really impressive, though, and he does feature a 12.1% swinging strike rate. So pretty good swinging strike rate stuff for you comparison to his K stuff. He has a 21.3% carry against righties and a 17.4% carry against lefties. Uh, but once again, the swinging strike stuff is there. So if he's facing undisciplined hitters, hitters that are going to swing at stuff that, you know, swing and miss, chase at stuff on the, the outer half of the plate, maybe breaking balls down in the dirt, uh, he can definitely rack up the Ks. And I think the Reds, while they do do better against lefties, are kind of the perfect lineup to where that applies here. So for me, uh, I'm going to be going with the over 33.5 pitcher fantasy score for Tyler Anderson. Also had a nice discount, just like we talked about with Pablo Lopez, 34.5, 33.5. I'll take that nice discount in the low 30s for a guy that I expect to go 6+, plus, get the win, have a nice quality start. Uh, I think he can rack up over 33.5 pretty easily here. So Tyler Anderson going to be pick number 3 on the video. Pick number 4, we're going to be heading on down to the Minnesota Twins, taking on the Cleveland Guardians. We're going to be talking about Mr. Tristan McKenzie. Taking on this Minnesota Twins lineup that does have plenty of strikeouts in it. McKenzie, a guy, that's some pretty good K-rate stuff. Looking at his numbers across the board as far as how he fares in all of those categories for the K stuff. Let's see, Mr. Tristan McKenzie. I'll go ahead and sort my sheet by K-rate. And here he is. He has a 25.7% K-rate overall with a 12.3% swinging strike rate. Good stuff. A 25.4% K-rate against righties and a 26% K-rate against lefties. Um, his leash is somewhat limited, I guess you could say. I mean, he's right around 90 pitches, pretty sharp, and then they, they pull him. But outside of that, I mean, you can't really complain other than him not running it up to 100. He's still been up there at 97, 93 pitches the last couple times out. 6-6, six, 7-7.2, six, seven, 7, 7 innings pitch. You look at the last two times out, he's racked up 6-6 six and six strikeouts, and I'm expecting that again here, taking on this Minnesota squad. Like I said, there is quite a few strikeouts um, throughout this lineup. You're looking at Minnesota's lineup up and down, reading from the bottom up. In uh, Celestino, 23%, 32, 26, 20, 28, 18, 21, 24, respectively. Uh, I do expect Tristan McKenzie to be able to beat his K prop over here, and that's what I'm going to be targeting for pick number four. I like the over five and a half strikeouts here for Tristan McKenzie. Once again, you look at the metrics, you look at the matchup, quite a few strikeouts. He has a 12.3% swing strike rate, solid K stuff to both sides of the plate with a 25 plus percent carry to both sides. Um, I think it's a perfect combination for Mr. McKenzie to go out there rack up some strikeouts in this matchup. I don't want to be targeting his fantasy score because he is an underdog here. So rather than the fantasy score, I just think the strikeouts is the way to go. Uh, smarter, he's the underdog. Also, if he happens to give up a few runs and he's a little crazy, which he can be at times with the walk, he can still get you there with the strikeouts uh, being up there over 90 pitches. So 
Pick number four, we're going to go over the over five and a half strikeouts for Tristan McKenzie. And pick number five, we're going to be heading on down to the LA Angels, taking on the Kansas City Royals. And we're going to talk about Shohei Otani. Massive favorite here, 242 favorite, taking on Daniel Lynch. Automatically caught my eye, taking on this Royal squad. We're definitely going to be targeting the pitcher fantasy score for him with being such a heavy favorite. Look at Otani's stuff. 29.9% K rate overall with a 13.5% swinging strike rate. He features a 32.9% K rate to righties, a 27% K rate to lefties. Good ground ball, fly ball stuff. Will give up a little bit of hard contact to the left-handed bats at times. Uh, but outside of that, you really can't ask for much more than Shoyo Otani. And you really can't ask much more from a Vegas line aspect as a 242 favorite here. Looking at this Royals lineup up and down as far as the strikeouts that they feature. Uh, starting from the bottom up. With Mr. Lopez, 13%, 25, 22, 25, 25, 27, 23, 17, and 14. So they do have some low strikeout guys at the bottom and the top of the order. But in between, lots of heavy strikeout guys. Otani has good strikeout stuff. He will go deep into the ball game, and he's expected to get the win. So Otani looks like he's just in a phenomenal spot to be targeting his uh, pitcher fantasy score here tonight. Uh, look at the last time out. Six innings pitched, the time before. Seven innings pitched, the time before. Three, but then the time before. Six. He's pretty much a lock for six plus innings. He'll rack up the strikeouts. Don't expect him to give up too many runs in this spot with only a 3.25 implied total for the Kansas City Royals. Everything matching up for Otani to just have a really great performance out there tonight. I think he tops 40 fantasy points, and they've only got his line set at 38 and a half over here. Pretty easily, he should be able to rack up these fantasy uh, points tonight. Like the over 38 and a half pitcher fantasy score for Shohei Otani is pick number five on the video. And that is going to be my five picks to get you winning somebody over here on prize picks. As always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content packages, go and check those out. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. And if you haven't signed up for prize picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to $100 on your first deposit today. Wishing you all the best of luck on your props today, and we will see you in the next one.